Hello everybody, welcome back to the 40k lowdown. In today's video I'm talking about a brand new starter set from Games Workshop uh, that got announced uh, just this morning I think, if you're watching this on the day. And it's the sort of uh, long rumoured, but there's never really evidence for uh, Skatari vs Necrons. Uh, so if you didn't hear uh, a while back, about um, a month ago, a month or two I think, um, there were rumours of a Battle for Mars set, uh, that was the name rumoured. Uh, so this is actually called Forge Bane, um, and as you can see it's between uh, Skatari and Necrons. It includes the brand new Knight Armager and the, also the new uh, Crypt deck for Necrons. Um, so yeah, in this video I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, why I think they've done it, um, and what I'm hoping price-wise and stuff like that. So first of all price-wise, um, it says on the Warhammer community it is going to, and I quote, uh, cost you less than getting everything inside separately before you count the new Cryptic and Imperial Knight units. Um, so I added it up quickly and everything inside uh, is £115, so that's the Tech Boost Dominus, the Skatari Rangers, uh, the Necron Immortals, the Lich Guard and the Cap to neck rates, like, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but the rates, and um, that comes to £115. So I think it's probably a fair estimate to say that the box is probably going to cost uh, £95 or £100. Um, so like £95 it would be make it comparable to, uh, oh god, uh, Dark Imperium. Um, so like what I'm thinking perhaps is that um, they're doing it to, a sort of a, com not a competitor, because it's their own thing, but as a different option uh, for if you don't, you and your friend or whoever you're starting 40k with, um, you don't want to buy a Space Marine box set, um, you want this box set, because in this I think you probably get more value because they're, it doesn't look like they're going to be easy build, they look identical to the uh, the normal dudes, I'm pretty sure that they're the multi-part kits. And also, um, it's I think if you are sort of more experienced in the hobby, like, um, I know that sort of pretty much everyone, um, the first army they get a space marine. So the Dark Imperium, um, will games are probably thinking the Dark Imperium is going to be sort of the uh, start set that the newest people buy the most. Um, but that this one may be something that uh, more experienced people use to get a second army, um, because just they're, they're slight more like complex armies, um, especially the Skatari to paint wise like. Necrons, they're an easy army to paint, so ne I sorry, Necrons are actually quite an easy army to start with, um, but they're sort of just not as popular. Um, I think another reason Game Shock are doing this is just because it's two of their sort of, I don't want to say less popular, but they probably are less popular armies, like they're not one of the, neither of them are the ones that are right up there that you see being used in your local game store, or I certainly don't anyway, see them being used in your local game store or every week whenever you go in like Space Marines and uh, Chaos now, Death Guard, um, like Tau and uh, sort of Guard and stuff like that. These are two armies who are sort of slightly less used. Um, and I think, judging by um, the that they're saying it's going to cost less than everything inside mine, and then the Knights, I think I'm going to say that the Knights on their own are probably going to end up being about £50. Um, Obviously, I think I said in my video uh, when I was talking about them, I thought they were going to cost about 70 um, But sort of looking at them now, you get a better scale of how big they actually are. It looks like they are sort of um, twice the height um, of the Tech Boost Dominus. Um, and obviously, I would I'd still like to see them. I don't think there's any photos on the community page of them right next to a normal knight. But I would like to see a comparison of them next to um, a regular knight. Just to see what it's like. But... Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. I think I may well uh, buy this and then sell on the neck one half because I do love my Skatari um, and I would love a knight, but I've, I've always wanted a knight, but the current knights, like, I don't know really if I can justify spending 85 or £95 pounds retail um, on a, a thing, just a, of a single model. Um, but for this, I could spend £95, pounds, get, or oh, probably in the region of like £500 and get two knights um, and then another couple of like I even might just sell on everything apart from the knights because I've already got two, two, two Tech Beast Dominuses 
and 30 rangers or 20 rangers and 10 vanguard um i might keep the rangers i'm not sure but yeah i'd probably sell on the tech priest as well because honestly i'm not sure if i need another tech priest dominus um we have but certainly what i'll use it for i'd love to see in the comments what you're going to use it for i'm sure people will buy it all for themselves because they play necrons and to uh Skatari, or they might just play Necrons still on the uh, Skatari half, because um, I'm sure it'll be quite easy to sell on the uh, Knight Armagers for less than they're going to be going retail. But I'd love to see in the comments what you think of this, um, if you're excited for the box set coming out, and if you predicted it, did you think that Battle for Mars was going to happen? Uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you again next time.